it's Helen from Witchcrafts and I'm back with episode 7 of 365 Days of Art. So you see I've skipped ahead to day 8 which is to draw a collection of vegetables. I had to use um, white acrylic paint to cover over where the blue from the previous um, pages had come through um, but that didn't cover very well so I ended up sticking a piece of um, paper over the top of it as well. So I've decided for this one I'm going to do a pencil and watercolour pencil sketch of a basket of vegetables. Um, we've just planted some seeds to grow our own vegetables again this year. We had quite a lot of success last year with sweet corn and tomatoes. So I'm just starting off with a soft 2B pencil, um, sketching out the basket shape. Um, and then this is going to be a lettuce. I don't really like this kind of lettuce and we don't grow this kind of lettuce but that seems to be what looks like a lettuce. Um, and then a couple of tomatoes. Some carrots. And some beetroot. So these are all the vegetables we're going to be growing. We're also growing some sweet corn. Derwent Academy watercolour pencils again, starting with the lettuce, um, a pale green to start with and then um, I'll go in with darker colour green as well just to, um, just to add in a bit more detail and depth to try and make it look three dimensional. using my trusty um, water brush just to blend the colours in a little bit to smudge them and make the, um, the two shades of green flow into each other. This isn't the normal pen that I would use. I found it let quite a lot of water out, more than I would normally expect, so I had to go in with a dry regular paintbrush just to sort of take out some of the additional moisture. Then I moved on to just doing the tomatoes and giving them a rough shade of red. And the beetroots, I struggled to sort of work out what colour beetroots are because they're sort of pinky purple but they also look red so I wasn't really sure so I thought well I'll start off with red and see where we go from there. Back in with the dry brush just to take out a little bit of the pigment where um, the paper got a bit wet. I was using my hot air gun in between um, colours just to dry the paper off otherwise this video would have taken hours to create. So I'm popping a bit of purple now onto the beetroot. Again trying to define, make them look a bit more three dimensional. The light's coming from the right hand side in this drawing. This is all done from my head, this isn't done from life or a, a reference or anything, this has just come from my brain. Colours dry quite a lot lighter than um, they appear when they're wet, obviously, so it's important to bear that in mind when you're using watercolour pencils 
so that you can make sure that you put enough pigment on that the colours are going to be a true representation of what you wanted. Moving on to the carrots, they're sort of, they look quite brown here on camera but they were a lot more orange than that. And then I'm just adding some detail to the carrots because obviously they're not just a flat orange blob, they do have um, normally have some textures and rings on them. And then shading in the basket, sort of like a wicker basket. I don't have anything that looks like this so I don't know where it came from. The roundy bits around the top, it looks a bit like a pasty but it's not, it's a basket. what to talk about when I'm doing these voiceovers and there's not a lot to say I feel like I could just talk for the sake of it and explain blatantly obvious as to what I'm doing um, but I don't know whether there's much point in doing that or not so if there's something you'd like me to talk about um, please leave a comment and I will have a look at that and then I can perhaps talk about that in my next video when there isn't much else to sort of say Also trying to get to a subscriber um, milestone of reaching 100 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a art supplies giveaway when I reach 100 um, subscribers so if you haven't already then please do subscribe and leave this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it so far so that I know whether to carry on with this series if I seem to have a growing audience which is great. So I'm just blending those last little touches of pencil that I put in just to um, blend them in, make them not look quite so harsh. And there's the final vegetable basket. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's not massively realistic, but you know, it's a sketch and it's the vegetables and they've got a bit of tone and texture and I think they've got a little bit of three dimensionality as well. So if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel. As I say, when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing an art supplies giveaway. Um, and you can also check out my other playlist or visit my Etsy shop where I have lots of jewellery and other products for sale. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.